डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर एजुकेशन चैनल लर्न एंड एजुकेट प्रीवियसली वी हैव लर्न अबाउट फ्यू लॉज लाइक कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर नाइनटीन जीरो एट और फ्यू बेसिक्स ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एक्सेट्रा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सीरीज अबाउट द कंपनी लॉ अंडर विच द प्रिलिमिनरी चैप्टर द प्रिलिमिनरी चैप्टर पार्ट ऑफ द कंपनी जैक 2013 थाउजेंड थर्टीन शॉर्ट टाइटल द शॉर्ट टाइटल ऑफ द एक्ट इज दैट दिस एक्ट शाल बी कॉल्ड एज द कंपनीज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन एक्सटेंड्स द एक्ट इज अप्लीकेबल टू द होल ऑफ इंडिया द एक्ट एक्सटेंड्स टू द होल ऑफ इंडिया द लेजिस्लेटर इज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड टू मीट द चेंजेस इन द नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक इन्वायरमेंट एंड फॉर द एक्सपांशन एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ द इकोनॉमी ऑफ आर इंडिया कमेंसमेंट दिस एक्ट came into force at once and the remaining provisions of this act shall come into force as on the date as the central government may by notification in the official gazette appoint and different dates may be appointed for different provisions of this act and in the reference in any provisions of the commencement of this act shall be constructed as a reference to the coming into the force of that provisions section 1 also specifies the date of commencement of this act accordingly this act came into force at once and the remaining provisions of this act came into force at such different dates as the central government may appoint sub section uh, section 1 of the act states about it deals with the title accordingly the extent and the applicability of the act the commencement of the act and now the applicable applicability this act states about the applicability of the act only to the companies which are incorporated under this act or under any previous company law the companies which are incorporated under this act or under any previous company law it also applies to the insurance companies which so far as the provisions are inconsistent with the provisions applicable of insurance act 1938 or the insurance regulatory and development authority act 1999 c banking companies which are except in so far as the said provisions are inconsistent with the provisions to the banking regulation act 1949 the companies which are engaged in generation or supply of electricity except in so far as the said provisions are inconsistent with the provisions of the electricity act 2003 e any other company governed by any special act for the time being in force except in so far as the said provisions are inconsistent with the provisions of the special act and such other body corporate incorporated by any act for the time being in force as the central government may by notification specify in this behalf subject to such exceptions modification adaptations or as may be specified in the notifications and of which for example when any company which has been incorporated in first february 1985 then the act shall be applicable to that company also because it has been formed under the companies act 1956 and this companies act 2013 it will also be applicable to the company which is formed on first february 1985 the title is companies act 2013 the extent of the act is it whole of india section 1 came into force at once and the remaining provisions on the different dates through notifications applicability of the act is such that it applies to companies the insurance companies banking companies companies which are engaged in the production or supply of electricity companies which are regulated by any special act for the time being in force and the entities which are notified by the central government to whom this act shall apply thank you for watching